Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Sentel, NBA Live Bolton. I am back with a video talking about the current state of my car. All right, if you're here for the first time and you like my content, I would like for you to hit that like button, click that subscribe button, turn on all your bell notifications for all your retro gaming plus NBA Live content and next gen content like this NBA 2K21 on the Xbox Series X. Now, guys, um, I like to give a shout out to my boy TB. TB Wells, ATB, this is the um, the footage that I said I was going to show you on the Sony uh, Bravia TV. It's Bravio, Bravia, however you say it, I think it's Bravia. But uh, this is the capture on that TV instead of my 4K TV. Um, it looks just as good as it does on the 4K TV, actually. Um, it's just the hardware, I guess, the Xbox Series X is putting out. So either or, it's going to look good, you know. Um like uh like i wanted to get into talking about my car man um i have like a 9800 cord so i have had problems with it for the past couple months or whatever well actually not the past couple months it just started acting up um i've done some work on it recently like motor work and transmission work on it um you know the transmission work that i did uh years ago uh, i hadn't had any problems out of it um, I haven't had problems out of the motor since I put another motor in it. Um, I have had problems recently with um, it not starting. So what the problem is, it'll just hesitate to start. You know, you know, it'll turn over real fast, like ju -ju -ju -ju, and it won't crank. And sometimes, uh, most of the time, it'll crank. But I've went recently to the Pet Boys um, franchise, um, one next to my place where I stay at and they did some work recently it was like oh man it was like a thousand sixty eight dollars to get it fixed and I thought it was fixed and it was working you know pretty good but uh it turns out that it is not fixed um right now currently it's at pep boys right now so the problem was like I said it was hesitating to crank but um it it actually it was doing good but I recently came across a YouTube video and so I thought it was like a key issue with the key. So in uh, in the 98 to 2002, 2003 and above, I think some of the chips go bad in some of the Honda Accords. So in the video, the guy explained where he went to, you know, a mechanic. And one of them said it was something with the ignition switch coil or whatever. And then he went to one and said it was a timing belt um, issue or whatever with the timing or whatever. So he figured out his issue was his key. It was doing the exact same thing with mine, the same thing as mine is doing, where to start, it'll, it'll, it'll hesitate to crank, and then sometimes it'll crank, and sometimes it won't. But his got where he'll turn up the ignition, it'll turn over, but it actually wouldn't crank. And so he changed, he got a new key, and that fixed his problem or whatever. So I thought that was my problem. So I got two keys to my Honda Accord, and so the other one that I never used i switched it up and it was working a couple of days pretty good but yesterday um i was going to get an estimate on some work being done some more work being done to my car but it, it acted up yesterday and so when i was leaving i put the key in the ignition fixing to get ready to go and it turned over ju -ju -ju -ju, and it hesitated and i thought it was gonna crank but it actually didn't crank so i walked back in and i talked to the guy and uh because i told him that's what that's initially what i came to get fixed i had the same problem and so the manager had just left and so i left my keys with him and uh it's an older guy he's an older technician he actually came out to my car he was actually a nice guy and uh, he put it on like the machine one of the diagnostic machines and um the first time i sent it there it really didn't act up i was telling them what it was doing and so they they did a thousand and sixty eight dollars worth of work um, I don't know if I got gypped. Well, you know, I probably did, you know, you know, far as, you know, them doing work at places like that because they got overhead. So they're going to charge you more. So I actually got the fuel rail clean. I got a new EGR valve. Uh, I got a new distributor and I've gotten some new plugs and wires, basically a tune up. And I got all that done. And uh, the car, it actually runs good. It actually has a little bit more power, I noticed. 
but yesterday that happened and i was just like oh man you know and um so i did that and then now my state of my car is still at pep boys i should be hearing from them today or tomorrow of me making this video so hopefully you know i get it fixed or hopefully they don't charge me anymore because that's that's the first thing that's the initially what i went and got it done the kind of work that i want to get done anyway that was a problem so you know uh leave your comments below tell me what you guys think i think i actually um i want to get a new car but i've you know the finances is not like you know i didn't really want to get a new car i mean i can't get a new car but it's just like uh, i don't want to i don't want a car payment you know with bills and stuff and you know how pandemic is going on and you know people and the jobs are not secure these days like they used to be well it actually was never was but since the pandemic you know you know people talking about getting stimulus money back but six hundred dollars that's really no money you know uh, twelve hundred dollars was we, the first one we got that's really no money either and people was thinking about what well, they were saying that they were going to sign off for two thousand dollars two thousand dollars a little bit more money and i think this is how it goes it's six hundred dollars per person or per kid in your house so if you got two it's twelve hundred six hundred for, for the first one and it, so on for like that depending on how many people you have in your house if you're married if you have any kids or whatever and you know um you know that, that's pretty good for them to have some money to help us americans out or whatever and in other places but you know leave your comments down below y'all tell me what you think should i get another car should i wait and see what they say you know and you know it's been a while since I, i've had this car for a while i had this car about like 10 years now you know you know i love my honda you know it's it's, it's, it's in pretty good shape far as like the physical you know with it having like the seats and stuff and the interior and far as the car how it looks it looks good it's not all beat up and stuff you know it's pretty it's in pretty good shape as far as the physical appearance but i've had some issues with the honda and um if you other guys have any other issues with your car you know leave your comments below tell me what you're dealing with or whatever and uh that's all i have for this video you know what i'm saying you know like i said i hope i get my car fixed and it is uh it's saturday right now and so i'm gonna upload this video in just a second and um you know that's it guys and i hope everybody's having a happy new year i hope everybody you know didn't spend too much money <laughs> on christmas and stuff like that you know uh, it was a time for family to get together and enjoy each other and that's that's what it's all about it's not about like spending a whole bunch of money you know uh, a lot of money that uh currently people don't really have to spend but for some reason people think they have to spend a whole bunch of money to get people to, to care about them and to love them and that's not what it's all about you know it's, it's all about good health and you know your friends and family and y'all spending time together and and loving one another and you know just being there for one another you know all right guys um that's it for this video uh it's your boy Sentel in the live bolton and i will be back at you with another video pretty soon later doggy dog